Hello and welcome to Stuff Review, or no, Snack Time. Oh boy, I, this is the show where I review snacks and novelties so I can tell you if it's good or bad or maybe, you know, just my biased opinion on what stuff is. I'm very, very thirsty. Um, I just went for a really long bike ride in the hot sun. You can see how sweaty I am and I'm so thirsty and I was like, let's see if this drink's going to quench my thirst. Right? No more water. I'm going for this. Limited edition Dr. Pepper Dark Berry. I hope that's not backwards for you. I don't know why a camera would film something backwards. Anyway, if you can't read my shirt, it says, remember, there are babes in the woods. And there's like little animals. Because it's wildfire season, people. You shouldn't be drinking the water, you should be dousing it on the fire that you created by throwing out a cigarette butt in tinder dry grass. Tinder dry grass hurts my ass when I sit down. I took a break to take a smoke and I was like, my ass is itchy. If I put out the cigarette here, I'm going to start a fire. Arson. It's just crime brulee. But anyway, here we go. It's limited edition Jurassic World Dark Berry. What's a dark berry? My mind is like ting 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 because of the weather. Oh, it's so hot. I was like, oh, should I get on camera being this sweaty? Is this hot for you? Is this what is this what people want? Sweaty Kalina who's thirsty and dehydrated and a little bit loopy? Yeah, that's for you. This is softcore porn, baby. Not for kids. Not safe for work. Well, if you keep the sound off. Because I'm dirty. And, uh, if you want to get dirty, I went to the sex store. <laughs> and I got the tiniest little vibrator they had because I was like, look at these big wands. You're going to fuck up your vagina, ladies. You can't... You can't be doing that to yourself. Like... Full speed, full speed ahead, ma'am. You just need like a little bit of help. But when I was a kid, my mom, my mom and dad, um, they snuck this book into my roster of goosebumps. And um, Nancy Drew, did I read Nancy Drew? I can't even remember. I'm so thirsty. Let's crack this one open. We'll talk about what the book that my parents left for me. 160 calories. What's a dark berry? Huh? We talked about blue stuff. God, I really missed the mark on that one. Dark berry, here we go. Well, well. Well, it tastes like fucking Dr. Pepper. Little bit medicinal. Why is blue always medicinal? It tastes like fucking astringent. But I'm thirsty. <clears throat> and it's quenching my thirst. See, the sugar aftertaste is what makes you thirsty. But this one is probably aspartame. Uh, produced under the authority of Dr. Pepper 7-Up Incorporated. Oh, they're a combined company. Did you know that 7-Up used to have lithium in it? To keep everyone's bullshit level down. God, the turn of the century, people were just on their bullshit. And so Coca-Cola and whatever this company is, the Dr. Pepper company, they're like, Co Coca-Cola, please stop with your cocaine crazy crazy. You're feeding cocaine to babies? Um, we're going to turn this around. So they put lithium in the drink and you put lithium into the old Greek the Roman baths and the fat man would just sit in the lithium bath and be like, Oh, I feel better. But maybe it's because they're away from their wives for the day and having gay sex with their best friends. I don't know. Speaking of sex, the book that my parents put in my 
shelf. I just snuck it in there when I was like a preteen because they were so fucking afraid of having the sex talk with me. And they were like, here's a book. As I was looking for my Goosebumps books, however, my, oh, how to have sex in the woods. And it was cartoon and it was illustrated. I was like, um, where did this book come from? I don't even remember reading it or what's in it, but I think after that I started masturbating a lot. <laughs> I didn't have a vibrator then. Mm. But now I do, and it's like the smallest one I could find. Because I'm travel size. I'm not going to bring my big donkey dick with me. The big Hitachi magical wand. Man, girls, cut it out. You just need a little bit of vibration. Sit on a washing machine. That'll do it for you. Um, Sex, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there was this other book that I found on my on my mom's bookshelf. She had, like, the weirdest stuff that I guess she got from people who work in her industry would just give her stuff. And so I guess it was this, like, writer who put out a book called, um... Oh, this lighting situation is horrible. Come on. Oh, look at my bingo wings. I want a bingo! I hate bingo. I hate chess. I hate most board games. Cause I don't like to learn the rules. Come on, lighting. Don't be a fucking idiot. Does that look hot? Um, so this book. I'm just gonna fucking do this till the cows come home. This book was called like the sh the boy behind the shut door or some weird thing. And the cover was black and it had like a yellow silhouette of a boy in the door with the shadows, like. This is up my alley. <laughs> this seems creepy and weird. Seriously? 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 <laughs> and I read it. And the first, like, chapter or two was about this little boy who murdered his father. And then I think he went into foster care. And I don't remember any of the rest of the book, but I remember... It was slightly traumatizing. So, parents, be careful what kind of books you leave out for your children to discover. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> what else did I have to do today? I had to go get my bike. This is like a 3D interactive video now. Here's my whole room. Do do do. Do do do. There's shit everywhere. I wanted to go to the bicycle store, but I couldn't find one. With my chain, my chain hits my chest when I'm banging on the rain. And my chain hits my chest when I'm banging on the radio. No, my chain hits the fucking gears when I'm riding my bike. It's like kunk 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 kunk. I was like, is that the kickstand? No. And then like, whoa! I almost went into traffic. One time I was riding my bike. On Clark Drive, lots of room to go around, and some fucking chud threw a full water bottle at me. Very disrespectful. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you feel my good? Lost my train of thought. It's so fucking hot. It's 28 degrees. Centigrade. Celsius. Excelsius. I'm melting in the Excelsius temperature. And this is alright. Doesn't make me want to see the Jurassic World movie. Mm -mm. <laughs> it does not. Like, this is too much light. Can we put that to rest? I have very bad production value. Now it's even worse. Oh, look how bad that got. I need to date some guy who's like in film grips or whatever that is, lighting. I don't know how to set up a lighting situation. I went to the Pacific National Exhibition, which is like a big fair here in Vancouver.
And I saw dinosaurs. They had like fully animated dinosaurs. Not to scale, but pretty big. And like the heads are moving and they're making sounds and their arms are moving. Ah, it was so cool. If I was high, I would have been scared out of my gourd. I'm just gonna take you on a journey here. <laughs> Lighting is so bad. I am your master now. Bow down to me. Ah. Eh. I burnt my tongue. I burnt my little, little, little tongue on some tea. And now it hurts. It's like a sunburn for your tongue. Softcore porn for you. Hardcore soft porn. Dream of California. California is overrated. Smoggy, dirty, no trees, traffic, nowhere to go. Well, I'm not California, but like Los Angeles. Los Angeles, huh? Why would I want to go there? It's yucky. Everyone's so hot and narcissistic. <clears throat> and like, I'm hot and narcissistic too, but in a Canadian way. I'm just scared to go down there and like fuck up my life. That's where dreams go to die. And here in Canada, we don't have dreams. We don't believe in God. We just want to keep our land glorious and free. And we stand on guard for thee. Who's thee? Who? Who is thee? Who are they, them, there? They, them, this fucking lighting situation is going to drive me. To insanity. Put me in the padded room, but let it have good lighting and good angles. There's a good angle. Yeah, I have dreams, but I just let them tink around in my head. Pink, pink, pink. And I go, What are you talking about? Who are you? Who, who is this voice talking to me? Shut up! I'm busy! I'm busy! I'm busy like Busy Phillips. Hi, I'm Busy Phillips. My name's Busy. My parents did not love me. <laughs> God, celebrities and their like fucking naming conventions. Like, I have a J Jamie Oliver cookbook. And he named his kids the weirdest things, like Apple Crumble Pie Oliver and, like, Strawberry Cheesecake Oliver. And on the next page it said, to my five children who are my favorite ingredients. And he's like, he's gonna eat his kids! Call the police! Ah! And another thing. There. There's my beauty lighting. Um, another thing is that I don't want to be a Karen. I'm trying so hard <laughs> when I go out to not be a Karen. And, like, I never was really before until that whole, like, Reddit Karen thing came out. I was like, fuck. I'm like a 35-year-old white woman with aggression and anger issues. <laughs> like, fuck. Don't do a Karen don't do a care. And then I'm in and I'm in like a retail situation. Something's taking too long. I'm like, hmm, hmm, hmm. I can't contain it. I can't. Please, I want to speak to the, your manager's manager. Hurry the fuck up. Because I have problems with my impulse control. <sighs> There's so many things I want to do, but I'm fucking chicken shit. You know? This whole like making dreams come true. No, it doesn't work because you have to stay home and you have to go to work and you have to feed your pets and your babies, your goldfish, and you have to water your plants. I have to stay here, my home sweet home, and not do anything bad. I don't want to end up in jail. I don't want to end up in an asylum. I like my freedom, but my concept of freedom is a little bit too... Uh, 
over the top? Do you want to call it that? My imagination, the way it works, is like nothing I've ever heard anyone tell me about. Unless they were like some crack addict on the street and like, oh, I, I relate to that state of mind. <laughs> Try to keep it in check. I'm like, yeah, how do I get over the border without being detected? It's <laughs> like, I feel like I'm a spy. There's a criminal on the lam. What is that called? Like imposter sim 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 syndrome? We're in a simulation. Elon Musk had it right. Like, I feel like someone is watching me third person walking around my life and telling me things to do. Like, do that. That would be cool. Go go and kiss that person. That would be so cool. I'm like, come on. I have to be the reasonable mom of my own brain. Like, please. No more of these shenanigans. No more shenanigans. I've had it. Let me just live my life out in ignorant bliss. And that's why I don't like to watch or read anything. Because I'm like, oh shit. I'm indoctrinating myself into something here. Like, they always say, forget everything you know. Done. Bye. It's all gone. And then it's like, well, what do you fill your mind up with now? Religion? New Age spirituality? Some pamphlet someone gave you? Reading Costco free magazine? Like, all of it's indoctrination. Everything's a cult. And I don't want to be trapped in a cult. <laughs> but I also do! Because <coughs> I want friends who understand me. Nobody gets it. I have this thing called aphantasia. If you have it, you're my friend now. Um, where you close your eyes and you cannot visualize anything. And you also have dreams where you don't remember your dreams visually. I'm pretty much, like, we're, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. am I allowed to say that word? I think we should bring it back. Reharded? Disabled? I'm fucking, I'm disabled! <laughs> Everyone around me at this party was like, you can't visualize a green apple? Oh, we're so sorry for you. I don't want people to feel sorry for me. I live my life in this strange realm that doesn't make any sense to me. And, like, dark berry tastes like regular Dr. Pe Pepper. What is Dr. Pepper? Barbecue sauce? Mmm. This will be probably good on a brisket. Which I also had the peony, and I also saw the B-52s, their final show. And it's like... I also saw Billy Idol there. It's like, yeah, I, I appreciate these artists. I like their music. But, like, to see an aging rock star like, shimmy and shake and <laughs> play, replay their glory days of music, it's, like, it's kind of sad to me. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of sad. I mean, they're laughing all the way to the bank. And I just forked over $50 to see them, so who's laughing now? Who's really the clown in this situation? Oh, man. Are we all clowns? Just pantomiming our way through our life? No dress rehearsal. This is our life. Watching that Tragically Hip concert, like the last one that Gord Downey did where the Prime Minister was there, I was like, oh, this this is sad, but in a different way. Because he's going to die. And that's like Canada's one band. Bare Naked Ladies? Ugh, take a hike. <laughs> uh, I'm so critical of, like, artists. Because that's what I do. I bullshit. Oh, I want to be on, like, what's that show? Pop up video. That was like my favorite show on Much Music. And now there's no Much Music, and there's no music videos, and there's no cartoons. And... What happened? What happened in the early 2000s? I guess YouTube happened. I'm having, I'm like being obsessive here. I'm playing with fucking wax. Well, here's some things that are on my desk. To to conclude the show here, I'll just like give you a tour. My little art factory here. 
Oh, that looks special. I, uh, and I do this for you to show you that, like, I'm a raw individual. I don't care what I look like on camera. I used to. Because I wanted to be an actress. But now I'm just like, whatever. This is for you. I'm the nation's girlfriend. You can listen to me for 22 minutes. It's like an episode. The, the Kalina show. Here's an episode. Listen to me talk about nothing. Okay, poppy paint. Slice. No, slick. Dimensional fabric paint. Here, let's do this. Ooh. 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 Can we can it with the Japanese girl fetish? Um, I also have Bear Mace, which is illegal. Not for shenanigans, this was for work. I worked in nature! And if Smokey the Bear came up to me, pff, blast. Go back to your house. You know, I can take care of the forest fires. People in the provincial parks would like wear fucking flip flops to go hiking. Nya, nya, nya. And here's another one Spike Dog Spray. This is also not for shenanigans. It was for my other job where I delivered mail in case there was an aggressive dog. But like, really, I did. I would never have had the time to use it, and it's like messy and for the spray. I keep them in my bedroom in case someone breaks into my house, obviously. I have to defend myself. I live by myself. I'm like a sitting duck here. No more Dr. Pepper. Alright, what else have I got here? What else do I have to show you? That's kind of interesting. Okay. <laughs> Here's punk rock. Huh? Maybe something I found on my travels. Squeaky monkey. Hey? <laughs> Do you like? Uh, Do you like? Here's a picture I did. I really admire this woman. She's like my role model. Um, the Tarakian girl from Heavy Metal. Whew. Hot stuff. I want to be her. See, my goals in life are like to be a superhero who's hot and skinny. It ain't happening. I tried everything to lose weight. I've lost some weight, but it just takes too fucking long. I'm like, I want to be a hot and sexy superhero now. I want to be every guy's fantasy now. And I've wished and prayed to God to like help me lose weight. And I'm just like, I put in all the work. I've done all the diets, I've done all the exercises, I've had labor jobs, like, I'm just stuck at Chubby McGee until I'm 53. And then when I'm 53, I guess metamorphosis happens? Not, uh, what's it called? Menopause? I want to transform into a beautiful butterfly. Please get me out of this human body. No. I'm so whiny. I just want the best for myself because I've, I've had a really tough life in a way. Like, emotionally, mentally, tough life. And nobody understands me. This is why I shop at the teenager store, because I'm, like, forever a teenager. I'm just like, ugh, sad and depressed. Boys don't like me, and all my girlfriends are bitches. <laughs> I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. <laughs> why don't you love me? You said you'd love me forever, and now you're leaving? No! God, I'm so needy. Sincerely, I am needy. And I don't want to be. I'm trying to fight it. I'm trying to be like, you know what? I'm just going to become a butch lesbian. Even though I don't want that. I don't, I don't want to scissor a woman. I'm sorry. I don't want to eat beaver. I, I want to put something phallic in my mouth. And the popsicles 
and the corn dogs are not cutting it for me because those have calories. I've heard that male semen has antidepressant properties. Free antidepressants and I get to suck a dick. Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. What's inside a woman's vaginal mucus? Uppers? <laughs> Man, I should look that one up. What's in a woman's vagina? Um, there's this cookbook that I want to get, or like I get it for a friend as a joke. It's called Nature's Harvest, and uh, it's like all these different recipes where you can use semen, and the front page is like a flan cake. <laughs> and that kind of stuff like gets me going. I think it's so funny and weird. <laughs> it's just like humanity and humans are so weird and I can't believe that this thing exists. That's why I like novelty food and like weird funny stuff because I'm just like, this is the world we live in? Wow, I'll try that. I'll try anything. I'm open to learning new stuff. Like I said, I'm a blank slate now. My mind has been wiped clean and uh you know, I am God's vessel, whatever God wants me to do. But God's a fucking asshole. He told people to, like, kill his own children? That sounds like a demonic thing. I, I think I'm really into probably going the Satan way. I've really tried with Jesus. I have tried to be his girlfriend. Like, you want to be my friend? You better be my fucking boyfriend because I'm that needy. And Jesus is like... Oh, but I have to go and love everyone in the world. It's like, fuck you. You said you'd be there for me. Now you're going across the world? For what? For what? I'm feeding you all this wonderful food and giving you all my lo unconditional love. And you're like, eh, I gotta, I gotta go with my guys to, you know, we got, <laughs> we gotta tell some people about the good news. I'm like, here's some good news. I fucking love you. And you're abandoning me? I am broken up with Jesus. Sorry, God. Your son is shitty. He's a shitty hippie who fucking is afraid of women and afraid of having sexual intercourse with the women and continuing the bloodline. Isn't that what God wants? Why didn't Jesus have any children? And if he did, why did he hide it? What is Jesus hiding? Jesus is a homosexual. And that's why all of this nonsense is happening. And he ain't coming back out of that closet. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He's a magical gay magician. And that's cool, but, you know, f to say that a magical gay magician can save you and be your best friend and, and your lover, and it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense to me. And we're almost at 30 minutes, and I'm really ramping up here. I need, you know... Husband, obviously, because I'm out of control. And you know who's my, who I really like to give in to? Is Lucifer, because he knows what's up. He gets me. He's like my own personal devil that I know, and I love it. I love it, because it's familiar, and rock and roll every day, and every night party every day, um, debauchery. But also, like, the Satanic Temple, they really preach stuff that I am into. Just, like, s critical thinking, self-reflection, and intuition, and, and being self-sufficient. You know, you don't need some fucking gay homosexual magician hippie dude. Where is he? I need a flesh and blood man. I'm sorry. I mean, I guess that Satan isn't flesh and blood, but, like, it's more fun. Hell is going to be more fun than fucking sitting up in heaven with Jesus watching him swing on a swing because he can't come out of the closet. I'm sorry. <laughs> Rant over. Um, I guess that's it. Look how loud I can clap. One day, I'm going to be eating those chicken nuggets. Sorry to all the vegans, but it has to be done. It has to be done. <sighs> and I love my chicken nuggies and they don't have the honey mustard sauce anymore. I'm gonna go full fucking Karen on you, McDonald's. I'm gonna write a really saucy, intense letter. 
And the FBI, wa I'm going to be on the FBI watch list. Look, I I'm doing the Karen hair. Hey, McDonald's, bring back the fucking honey mustard sauce. <laughs> All they have is honey and hot mustard. I'm like, you're going to make me put them together myself? McDonald's ba -da -ba -ba -ba. and like I'd always call my chicken nuggets sad dippies <sighs> someone's making noise outside I'm gonna go ape shit <laughs> no I'm gonna go have a really hot cold shower get the oo-woos off my face oo-woo oo-woo I think I'm tired of the internet <laughs> I've had enough. I've had enough memes for one lifetime, Richard Dawkins. No more memeing. Okay. If you're gonna go for Dr. Pepper, just go for the regular. Dr. Pepper, Dark Berry. Mm, it's a lie. It's a lie. The da Dark Berries, anything blue? It's a lie. Don't trust anything or anyone. But then also trust people because how are you going to live? I could go on and on about hypothetical, hypocritical paradoxes, but I won't. Because it's been half an hour. So, that's it for today. Hopefully next time I can get my freaking lighting situation going. But I only have, like, that light the ceiling titty and uh this ikea lamp those are the three and the window obviously those are my options people this is a really low budge and i hope that you enjoy me eating things and talking about my life because that's not like that i don't have any like juicy um life skills to offer you don't have any unboxing things to do. I suppose this is unboxing. And, um, I'm just a person who likes things in the world, and I like trying things, and I like talking to people. And I hope this is nice for you. You like it? You like it when my talk to is nice for you? Yes. And something my grandmother said, my Polish grandmother, she said, Karina, cherpik sejpichwa. As she was combing my hair like this. <laughs> ah! Ah! And I was like, what the fuck does chirpy excess bitch wadna mean? She was like, it means it has to be beautiful. Huh? Then why do some girls make it look so easy? Why does it have to hurt me? Polish idioms, you know? <laughs> Fucking dark. I'm sure the German idioms are worse. Maybe that's going to be on the next show. Idioms! And I'm going to eat M&M's! It's going to be M&M's and idioms next time. Okay, have a great weekend. It's coming up. If you work on the weekend, talks for you. But enjoy life. Just like Coke said. Enjoy. We don't put Coke in it anymore, but enjoy. Sayonara!